All right, guys, uh, let's do a quick video about uh, entry-level medical positions, uh, positions that you can get with simply a certification or even just a high school diploma. And uh, some of these positions you can actually, you'll actually be able to, uh, if you further your education, you'll be able to further your career. Uh, so the very first one that uh, we're going to uh, come across, uh, discuss, we're going to discuss the uh, medical driver, transport driver. Uh, if you've ever seen these big vans that have wheelchair uh, accessibility to them, uh, every now and then they'll have a name on them. Uh, locally, we've got some called like Carolina Custom, Providence, um, Rita is, the, is a num another name of one. These are uh, organizations that simply transport people to and from doctor's offices, uh, doctor's visits. Sometimes they'll go to the hospital for non-emergent uh, situations. Uh, and these are transport drivers, medical transport drivers. And uh, I looked at one uh, this morning, and all you really needed to have was a clean driving record and a driver's license. And that was it. Uh, other than that, we're going to continue with the patient transport, and we're going to go with a patient transporter, person that pushes you in your bed or your wheelchair throughout the hospital to various doctors that you need to go see, or x-rays, or radiology, or uh, wherever you need to go in the hospital. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, forgive me, I forgot to tell you that the medical drivers uh, locally, uh, they make $13.18 an hour, that's $27,414 a year. Uh, that is the local average according to Indeed. All of my numbers came from Indeed, and I'm in Northwest North Carolina. Uh, the patient transport, they push you to and from uh, appointments at doctors while you're in the hospital, um, and they, you know, secure your oxygen or, you know, whatever it may be. Um, you will definitely have direct patient care if, if that's something that you want to have uh, as a patient transporter, you will definitely have direct patient care. And these guys don't need any sort of uh, certifications. All they really need is a BLS, basic life-saving CPR, uh, if you will. And these guys make $14.68 an hour or $30,472 a year. Um, so, you know, you don't really need any, any education for these. And you, they, they're pretty readily available jobs. Uh, all the jobs I'm discussing today, I did see openings for on Indeed uh, for my local area. Uh, the next one we're going to discuss, we're going to talk about housekeeping. Uh, uh, people call these environmental services or housekeeping or, uh, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, these people basically clean up, uh, you know, messes. Uh, they make beds. Uh, nursing homes have plenty of them. Hospitals have plenty of them. Um, they're everywhere. Um, you know, they're, they're fairly prevalent, uh, and once again, you don't really need a certification to have this job. Uh, you're going to make $11.48 an hour or $23,878 a year. Once again, this is, these are the averages for my local area, uh, according to Indeed. So your averages may be more or they may be less. Uh, I'm kind of in a rural area. Uh, and let's go on to the... Uh, careers that need a certification and uh, that you can actually further uh, after you get this certification, an MOA receptionist, a medical office assistant receptionist. There are uh, different levels of medical office assistants. Um, medical office assistants can even go as far as almost being like a CMA uh, in the doctor's office. Um, I've seen medical office assistants give shots. I've seen them take vitals. I've seen them give, uh, you know, uh, various vaccines that are that are ordered by the physician in the doctor's office. Um, so, but the basic MOA, the, the basic MOA, the receptionist that you see when you check into the doctor's office, this, this is a certification job. Um, it can be had, uh, you know, at your community college. Uh, I looked it up at, at my local community college, and it uh, takes several weeks, and um, you, you'll be able to obtain this certificate of an MOA receptionist, medical office assistant, and uh, these are people check you in, answer the phones, do basic billing questions, answer them for you, basic insurance. They'll, they'll do these things for you. Um, you're going to be directly associated uh, with the patient. You're going to see them 
first thing. You're going to see the patient first thing. If, if you really want patient care, I think you're probably going to get the most patient care uh, between this job and another one I'll discuss here in a second. Uh, but you will definitely see plenty of people, talk to plenty of people. Uh, you'll be up front all day. Uh, and you're, they're going to start you at it. Or the average locally is $13.96 an hour or $29,036 a year. Uh, after that, we're going to go to a telemetry tech, uh, or some people call these guys EKG techs. Um, these people watch telemetry all day, or they'll hook you up to the EKG machine, uh, or, you know, uh, various other things that are cardiac related, um, uh, whatever the physician orders, um, 12 lead EKG, eight lead, six lead, um, watching telemetry and you're going to watch the, the up and downs. Um, you know, when you're, you watch TV and they, boop, 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 you get to watch that all day. You will also do the EKGs, uh, and hook people up to those machines. Uh, these people actually make, I'll be, I'll be quite honest. I was surprised at what these people make. Uh, and this is a certificate job as well. Uh, this one, I don't see a whole lot of growth in, uh, simply because you kind of start there and that's kind of where you go. However, it is definitely the highest paying job on the list today. Uh, as a telemetry tech, locally, you're looking at $20.97 an hour or $43,617 a year. Fairly substantial, uh, especially for a certificate paying job. The last one I have for you is uh, another one that you see the patient the, in the entire time. Um, and there is room for growth. And some people may consider this medical. Some people may not. I do consider this a medical profession. Uh, and I'm talking about a massage therapist. Not a masseuse. Not somebody you see at the bad part of town with the green light on. No, people that are actual massage therapists. You go to school for this. This is a certificate program. However, locally, they offer all the way up to an associate of arts uh, in this um, program. Uh, and so, of course, you know what a massage therapist does. They're basically going to, um, you know, find ways to, not a, chiropr not a chiropractor, but a uh, massage therapist is still going to find ways to poke certain things and make certain things relieve pain or b help you move better, Um I know that uh, I had, uh, I, I didn't have trigger finger, but I knew a massage therapist to help with uh, trigger finger, um, you know, and so definitely I consider these guys medical, definitely. Uh, they come in just shy of the EKG tech or the telemetry tech at $20.76 an hour or $43,189 an hour. All of the jobs I've discussed today, I looked up all of my numbers on Indeed and locally. Like I said, I'm in Northwest North Carolina. And uh, these are all the facts and figures that I have for you. Currently, there are openings for every single job that I have discussed locally on Indeed. So I hope it helps. Thank you much.